the Medical Director of Emergency Services, Dr. Paul Zorch, is back with me, and it's always good to have you with us, Doctor. So we're going to talk all about emergency rooms today. So first off, tell us about the emergency department at Coastal Carolina Hospital. Well, co at Coastal Carolina, we have an emergency room with uh, 15 uh, patient beds. Um, we've been there a little over 12 years, I guess. Our volume is up to over 25,000 a year. Obviously, being an emergency room, we take care of anything that comes in the door. We're particularly proud of our uh, REACH program for stroke with MUSC and also the fact that we're now a designated chest pain center. But as said, we take care of everything. We do minor injuries, minor illnesses, major injuries, major illnesses. It pretty much is full service. Well, so you, did, you mentioned that you take care of everything, but there is a difference between an urgent care center and an emergency room. So when does somebody know when they should go to urgent care versus when they should go to the emergency room? Well, urgent care is, is basically, I look at it as uh, if you need a, a visit to your physician's office for a minor illness, minor injury, and you can't get in uh, for an appointment that particular day, and that would be something that you would follow up at an urgent care center for. An emergency room, <clears throat> again, excuse me, we take care of pretty much everything, you know, minor, major, but uh, something that would be a, a worse injury or worse illness, uh, certainly would consider going to a, an emergency room rather than an urgent care center. Right, so as you were just saying, let's follow up on that a little bit. If somebody does have a severe injury, what should they do first and before they get to you, and then what happens when they do get to you? Uh, as far as uh, what to do, if, if bad injuries, obviously, with the motor vehicle accidents and all that, ambulances tend to show up at the scene. Uh, I would expect that if somebody has a, a, a bad fall with a head injury and loss of consciousness and any um, altered mental status as a result of an injury, they should call 911 to have an ambulance transport them to the emergency room. Any patient that has uh, stroke-like symptoms, um, bad headache, uh, facial drooping, slurred speech, altered mental status, weakness, numbness, should call 911 as well. Uh, chest pain with those risk factors of hypertension, high cholesterol, diabetes, and family history and smoking. Those people should also call 911 and not waste any time. Um, otherwise, uh, if patient is awake, alert, is able to breathe fine, not short of breath or anything like that, coming in by a uh, private vehicle would be okay. But in other situations, as I said, if, if anything seems to be severe with any altered mental status or nausea, vomiting, bad headache, shortness of breath, or the other things I've mentioned, should call 911. Okay. And so when, if they are transported by an ambulance, what happens next when they get to you? Uh, when they get into, the, what will happen is the ambulance calls us ahead of time and lets us know what uh, type of patient is being brought in and what their expected time of arrival is. Uh, then uh, we get a room ready if there isn't one available. Uh, the patient is met uh, by nursing and depending on the severity of the complaint, uh, met by the physician on, on immediate arrival to the emergency department. They're placed in a room on a stretcher, put on an oxygen monitor, IVs established if not already done so in the field, and then a quick evaluation is done based on what the presenting complaint is. So if you come in by ambulance with a, a, a severe problem, you are met immediately and, and care is initiated right away. Yeah, so you're ready and, and ready to go. You know what's happening there. So we have about 20 seconds left, but I know we want to touch on this. Now that Tidewatch is open, does that offer the same services as the hospital? Yes, absolutely. We are a full service emergency room staffed by board certified physicians 24 seven, excellent nursing staff, excellent uh, uh, ancillary staff with full CT, lab, x-ray, uh, you name it, we can take care of it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for all the great information. It's always good to see you. Thank you very much and have a great day.